Irish. Hi folks, it's me, Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another fun little themed reading vlog, or well, I'm starting one today. It is not going to be completed today, but like obviously if you're watching the video, then it's all compiled together, so you'll be watching it all in one day, I'm expecting. Anyway, I'm starting another reading vlog, and this one is also surrounding a holiday. Last month I made a reading romance for the first time vlog for Valentine's Day and this month I decided it'd be really fun to do another themed vlog around St. Patrick's Day because I'm Irish. You're probably like, eh, you don't sound Irish. I am a dual citizen so I was born in Canada, I live in Canada, but I do have my Irish citizenship and I am very proud of my Irish heritage. So I thought it'd be fun to just explore that a little bit and make a little video around it and read a couple Irish authors for the first time in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So that's fun. So I picked out two books for the vlog because I'm doing this all in one week. And although I would have liked to have more, this was the realistic number I could manage. So the first Irish author that I decided to read for the video is Tana French. And the book I chose that she wrote is The Searcher. This is a thriller novel, I believe, and I haven't read a thriller in ages. So this book is following the protagonist, Cal, who is a retired Chicago police officer who has moved to like very pastoral tiny Irish village and he ends up investigating this mystery behind a missing kid after the missing child's brother convinces him to and that is going to kind of like reveal things suspense thriller yes now, the other Irish author that I picked, you have probably heard of, is Sally Rooney. And I haven't actually read any Sally Rooney, and I've been wanting to read some Sally Rooney, so I felt like this is a great opportunity to read a book by Sally Rooney. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing this week. And I picked out Normal People by her to read because it sounded interesting and it was the one that was already marked as want to read on my Goodreads. So I was like, clearly I was interested in this before now. So sounds like the one I should pick. And I believe this is telling the story of two people kind of over a span of time who knew each other and connected kind of more in private, but never really acted like they knew each other in public and their friendship and how it develops. Again, I don't really like going into books knowing things, so I don't know what these books are about. <laughs> I'm just going in with good vibes and hoping for the best. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be starting the Tana French The Searcher one first because that is due back at the library the soonest. And I just finished reading Six of Crows duology, so I kind of feel like reading some tension, some suspense, some thriller. I'm feeling in that kind of mood. I feel like normal people might be like too, too big of a switch from the, the fantasy heist novel to some, you know, literary fiction. So we're gonna be reading the thriller, The Searcher, and then we'll be reading Normal People, and we'll be having a grand old time. Yes, I did wear green on purpose for the intro. You're welcome. Maybe I'll wear green for every clip. Stay tuned. See if I follow up on that promise. <laughs> okay, let's get reading. Hi, hi. We are checking in. We are wearing green again. I also am now realizing actually that like both the covers of The Searcher and Normal People have green in it and I did not do that on purpose but that's fun. We love it. So I'm a, a little over halfway through The Searcher by Tana French and so far I'm really not thinking it's a thriller. It's reading much more like a mystery than a thriller because for me thriller is kind of encompassed in the atmosphere and suspense and like eeriness and I'm not really feeling that. There's like little moments like recently near to like the halfway through where things are starting to kind of give that eerie feeling to me. So I don't know if maybe that's the the pacing that the book is going for where it kind of starts off feeling completely normal and then this eeriness just kind of like creeps up slowly behind you and then takes 
over at the end like i don't know because i haven't read it yet obviously i am liking it so far i'm enjoying the way that we're discovering all of the like different personalities in the town and that's kind of weird this eeriness is coming from these interactions that seem totally normal there's maybe something like hidden behind them that's intriguing and because cal is like a retired chicago cop and he's in ireland that he has no real like he has to do it all with no authority like he doesn't have anything to help him with the investigation other than like talking to people and trying to not look like he's interrogating them so it's like it just makes it a little bit more interesting because nothing can be like figured out in a straightforward manner because of the circumstances so i'd say like right now it's sitting around like a three mostly because i went in to it expecting it to be much more of a thriller vibe than it's giving me and so it's just giving me like three star vibes but i'm kind of like getting into it it did take me a while to get into it it does have longer chapters which for me just like makes it more difficult to i don't know like mentally if something has like shorter chapters it's much easier to just be like oh i'll just read one more i'll just read one more versus when you're looking at chapters that are like on the longer side it's easier to be like well i don't really have the time to read all of that so i'll just put it down like it's it's harder to convince myself to take more time to do it now that i feel like i'm in it more it's easier i'm like looking to pick it up a bit more but at the beginning i i really wasn't i wasn't like itching to pick it up i'm hoping that now that like the investigation -y part of the mystery has started to get going that it'll pick up the pace a bit because the beginning was quite slow. I kind of feel like things could have happened a bit faster. I mean, like, it's in the synopsis that this kid convinces him to start his own investigation to finding out what happened to his brother, who, from all appearances, looks like he is just, like, you know, a 19-year-old who decided to run away from home and not come back. Like, that's what it looks like. And to get to that point just took a while, and I understand why, because it was building up this dynamic of, like, the town and the relationships and the relationship of Cal with the kid and Cal with his neighbors and how, you know, like, the vibe of the place. But I just feel like it took too long for it to finally get to the part where he's actually investigating something when, like, that's the whole premise of the book. So it's not like you're like, ooh, what's going to happen? Like, you know what's going to happen? in that sense and i kind of just like don't like when things like that plot wise are like dragged out when something is like this is the obvious outcome of this because the story keeps going or like it's the premise of the story or something when that's the case i kind of just like just get it done and over with and move on so i can read what i'm actually interested in i don't know if that makes any sense but like it's what i feel so yeah like i'm liking it i'm not loving it but it's fun i'm hoping it'll get a little bit more eerie suspenseful we'll see i'm actually gonna go and like make some rice crispy squares i think because i'm just like really feeling like doing that right now and then i'm also thinking like i should probably go outside because like the sun is shining and it's like blue skies and like spring is in the air despite snow still being on the ground and that'll probably be good for my pale little irish body to get some sunshine so that's the plan of action rice crispy square making rice crispy square eating reading and going outside it's called balance okay <laughs> so i'm gonna go do that see you at the next update it might be at the end of the book it might be if something really starts picking up it might come back Ooh. When will you see me next? Nobody knows. Ah. Okay, bye. Hi, hi. Hello. We are back. I have finished reading The Searcher by Tana French, and I have decided to give it a three-star rating. It's definitely a mystery and not a thriller, so that probably affected my rating of it a bit because I was like expecting things to get like tense and suspenseful and like ooh thrills and that just like didn't happen for me and that's what I think a thriller is so in my personal opinion this is not a thriller like at all and it's actually just a mystery novel. I would say like 
I enjoyed the writing and I liked the characters in it. It was like a fine mystery, like it was good. It wasn't great. There wasn't like a huge twist at the end. There was no big reveal really that I felt happened. I mean, you could say there was a reveal, but personally from reading it, it didn't really feel like much of one. That's kind of like led me to set a lot of three star. I don't think there's anything like wrong with the book. I don't think it's a bad book at all. I don't think it's poorly written. I just think that it, 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 it wasn't a great book and it didn't wow me, you know? Like I read it, I'm not like upset that I'm read it i don't wish i didn't read it but i'm also not like oh wow that book was so good let me go make everybody in my life read it which is what i feel anything higher up in rating would be for me especially with a mystery it felt kind of more like a literary mystery almost in a way like, there was a mystery aspect to the book but it didn't really feel like the whole point of the book was like solving the mystery yeah honestly like i don't know like it felt more like just about the story of the small town and the people in the small town and how interwoven all of their lives are more so than the mystery like the mystery felt like a way of representing that aspect of the story rather than like the small town aspect of the story being part of the mystery, if that makes sense. It felt like a 50-50 kind of blend. So it was like a fine book. I'm happy I read it. I like. I might try another ton of French if I come across one that intrigues me, but I'm not like, you know, like itching to read it. I wouldn't say like I found a new favorite author or anything or a new favorite book. So, you know, there we go. As in terms of like reading Irish authors, I really like the Irish setting. I really liked how the text spelled out the accents of the people in the book made it feel more like encompassing with the atmosphere of it yeah i really like that part of it i would say tana french is like a really popular author i believe she's been nominated for goodreads choice awards plenty of times so i think lots of people really enjoy her work and i would say maybe i would have enjoyed her work more if i didn't go into it thinking it was a thriller maybe that's like a my bad for thinking this was a thriller not a mystery but i also feel like that's like a marketing bad because a lot of the time mystery and thriller are like just like mixed together and i feel like they're two very different things so going into it thinking it was going to be a thriller when it was a mystery was like it really threw me off it really like changed i think how i was perceiving the vibe and the atmosphere of the book for sure so if you're interested in reading it know that it's a mystery and maybe that would make you like it a lot more than i liked it not that i didn't like it it was fine three stars so now i'm going to be moving on to reading some sally rooney i'm going to be reading normal people i'm kind of excited i haven't read like a literary fiction book since i read bear town at the beginning of the year so i think it'll be nice to dive into the genre again and i know lots of people really love sally rooney so i'm hoping that i will be one of those girlies who loves sally rooney and then i'll have an irish author that i love just in time for St. Patrick's Day. How wonderful. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. See ya. Hi, hi. I'm back. Different corner of my apartment. I'm about halfway through reading Normal People at the moment, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really difficult to really put into words why. It's just really intriguing to me. It's telling the story of Connell and Marianne, and their kind of like ever-changing relationship with each other and their friendship with each other throughout a period of time. And it's told in like kind of these little snippet slices of life. Like there's a chapter and then the next chapter will be like months later and the next chapter will be like a couple weeks after that. And then, you know, like it, it continues going on like that. And it starts when they're finishing high school and then moving into university. And I believe it, goes on for like a like a few years of like their story and everything that's happened like there's nothing exciting happening there's nothing dramatic happening like really it's like just normal people like it's just like their lives but there's something about the way sally rooney writes where i just can't seem to put the book down like i just want to continue reading there's something so interesting about these regular people living relatively regular lives i don't know i feel like i get the sally rooney hype like it's a really good book 
you know like i'm only halfway through so i really can't say too much but i'm really feeling like it could be like a 4.5 i i just think there's something so vulnerable about it in a way i don't know there's also something that feels really comforting reading it i don't know if it's just like the normalcy of it all perhaps i have to say i'm really liking it i'm glad i finally decided to read some sally rooney i was a little cautious of it because i've heard some people really love sally rooney's writing and other people just like don't get why other people like it they don't think it's interesting at all but i think there's something very intriguing in the normalcy of her writing when usually everything that you're reading in fiction and especially as someone who reads a lot of fantasy where you're reading things that are always the most dramatic the most tragic the most intriguing the most unimaginable to then read something that's so utterly normal is almost a change of pace in a really interesting way so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep reading it i'm really liking it and i think i'll probably pick up some more sally rooney later on not like immediately after this but i know she has a, a couple more books especially conversations with friends i feel like people like that and normal people the most i think her newest book wasn't quite as well received i could be totally wrong about that but I'm really enjoying it and I kind of like wasn't expecting to love it this much. I kind of thought I would feel like a 3, 3.5 star-ish kind of range with the book, but it's really keeping me interested and intrigued. So there you go. Who would have guessed it? I shall let you know when I finish the book and we'll wrap the vlog up. Hi hi! We are back. Final clip of the video here because I finished reading Normal People by Sally Rooney and guys, guess what? I gave it five stars. I loved it. I really, really loved it. Sally Rooney's writing is so sparse in a way, but it's so beautiful and I love the metaphors that she uses in her writing and this like slice of life from like different points of time storytelling is so interesting to me especially in this kind of like coming of age love story scenario of seeing these snapshots of these two people who always seem to come back together and who seem to continue to save each other in a way throughout this like important part of their lives it's just like something that i i just like i couldn't put it down i really just like wanted to read it all in one go i finished it and i was like wait that's it it's over we're done we don't get to see what goes on what's after and yeah oh my god it's just like leaving me thinking a lot about how much our our lives are like interwoven with each other and how much our lives are affected by the the people who are important to us and that we meet throughout them. I understand why it's so popular and I definitely would recommend it to people if you're looking for something just utterly normal yet beautiful. I don't, I don't know, I just absolutely adored this book. So I'm definitely going to be reading more Sally Rooney to see if perhaps she may be like a new favorite author for me, which is like super exciting. I love finding new favorite authors so I had like a really great time I'm really glad I left this book for last because imagine if I read this and then I had and then after that I read like a three-star book like what a disappointing end to the vlog like somehow Michaela at the beginning of this week just like sensed that this was the correct order to read these books in and I'm really glad she did that because I feel like this was the correct order to read them in there we are I read two new to me Irish authors for St. Patrick's Day and overall I had a really good time so I feel like it was like a successful vlog I really don't have too many complaints though I feel like I never really have too many complaints in my reading I feel like overall I just enjoy reading so much that I give books good ratings because I just like enjoy the act of reading things I don't think I've ever really read something that I've absolutely hated and that's why I've never like DNF'd a book maybe that's a thing I should do maybe I should read books I think I'll hate 
so I can experience that. But I don't know if I want to experience that, so also maybe I will not do that. Yeah, that's the vlog. I feel like it's kind of like short and sweet, but I kind of wanted that to be what this is. I kind of just wanted to read a couple books and just tell you a few thoughts about them and not make some like ginormously long reading vlog for a change. So that's what we're doing. If you do want to see some much longer in-depth reading vlog and reviews you know i'll link a couple down below for you to check out but if you did like this video make sure to give it a like and if you happen to like me consider subscribing you actually have to today because it's saint patrick's day and i'm irish so it um is actually required that you subscribe uh, if it's not St. Patrick's Day when you're watching this, I guess that uh, reasoning really just like goes out the window for me, but we're just going to ignore that that hole, okay? We're just going to ignore that hole in my plan and pretend it's not there, okay? Okay, great. Cool, 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 cool. Comment down below. Have you read Normal People and did you love it or did you read Normal People and find it boring? Because I feel like there's people in both camps. I feel like people either like love it or they're just like, nothing happened, I was really bored, why did I read this? Like, I feel like those are the two camps. Which camp are you in? Also, let me know any other Irish authors that you love. I'd be happy to add to my list of authors to keep an eye out for and to potentially read in the future. Or, you know, if you're not Irish, who's your favorite author who's the same nationality as you? That could be interesting. Could broaden my perspectives a bit more since YouTube, you know, covers the whole world of the internet and uh, people come from everywhere and have much different experiences than me and I would love to broaden my horizons. Do all of those lovely things and I thank you so much for being here. I'm happy to have you here and I hope you come back. But that's the video, so for now, I shall leave you until the next one. I hope you are having a wonderful day today, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye!